The Omicron variant quickly created a surge of COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. Mm -hmm. Some states are now seeing a decrease. CBS 17's Judith Rattana joining us now with uh, a glimpse into the future for North Carolina. Judith, what can we expect with Omicron in the coming weeks? Well, Rod, if we look at where we are with our hospitalizations on the state dashboard, you will see it is just record after record for the month of January. But I spoke with a professor at UNC who was modeling the future of the pandemic. He's not optimistic about the rest of the month either. We're in a really bad spot. Hospitals in North Carolina are feeling the pressure of the Omicron wave. Many are delaying procedures to cope with understaffing and increasing patients. We haven't really seen clear evidence of turning the corner. Dr. Justin Lesser studies epidemiology at UNC. His models say we have not seen Omicron peak yet. It might be late February or March before we start getting back to, you know, numbers we were seeing before the Omicron surge. The last two weeks set several records for new cases with an average of 26,000 people getting infected every day. The number of people in the hospital is a steep slope with two days this week shattered Shattering pandemic records. Lesler expects a peak later this month. I think the long term outlook, you know, is uncertain because, you know, every time we thought things are going to look good, a new variant has come along. The only bright spot here is that future variants may not cause as much severe illness. But I think. Immunity is going to win eventually, and things will get more mild and mild as time goes on. In some ways, Omicron may be a transition period. So that's when we get to the point that, you know, the disease changes from being a scourge to a nuisance, in my view. But for now, Lesler says keep your guard up. And it's going to take us a while to get to a point where things are looking better. Now, there are two things that Dr. Lesler says can help drive down cases and hospitalizations. I'm diving deeper into that online in my story at CBS17.com. Judith Ratana, CBS17 News. All right, Judith, thank you. Well, hospitals are delaying previously scheduled procedures as they deal with the severe staffing shortage.